motherfucker, but still respectable. Like you can bring it on the mom. Um, Crystal seems to be like the safest name. I mean, it could be the Crystal's safest name. Crystal's the safe name, but you you really like it's a fine line because if. I would say, hey, mom, you know what I'm I got this girl named Crystal. I honestly would be thinking, like, my mom would definitely be thinking white girl, 100%. Yeah. Okay. What if you said, mom, I got this girl I want you to meet. Her name is Diamond. <laughs> she a stripper. 100%. <laughs> 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 yes, she is, mom. 100%. Uh, now, <laughs> hell a stripper around. Uh, fine. Hey, look. Fine. Is, my mom going dead ass black. she goes them weird names like, oh, mom, I got this girl I want you to meet. Her name is Autumn. <laughs> what do you do then? No, not necessarily. Stripper is more like star, diamond, or diamond. Like, any uh, name that's a any name or, that's a drink or a car. Any like name, Porsche, drink, a car, uh, a place uh, in the world. Like any any like actual place. Like Mercedes. my name is Egypt. Mercedes. That's def That's a car. That's definitely. We're gonna have to like. Okay, so if if it's a woman that you're trying to introduce to your mom, but you want her to have like the okay. most like respectable name to your parents, uh -huh. but it could go either way. I'm going to go with Stephanie because Stephanie's could be little ratchet bitches, but they could be just respectable women. I'm thinking People more call like Steph. A, like, hey, Steph. I'm thinking more like Jennifer. That's plain and safe. Yeah. Jennifer. Yeah. I like that. Jennifer. Because... Jennifer. Um, Definitely not Karen. <laughs> you put Karen that on that shit. It's gonna definitely be like a problem. Like, I yeah, can't, that's she's not even let. But that can't even be. That can't be a black or a white. It's just definitely like born on the white side. You gotta have like something that could be stuck in the middle, like something that could be both. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, Amanda. Like, a, like, a, like a, like a female's name, uh, like a female's name, Amanda, uh, or and and it could be a dude's name too. Okay, like, uh, a unisex name. A Kobe. Fine. I've met. I'm not even gonna bullshit with you, nigga. I've met two unisex names in my life that I thought were weird. I knew a girl named Michael. Swear That's not unisex at all. That, that, was, was, a name. Not, that <laughs> was a name, right? I listen. That's I mean, all you, women. You, you can. But yeah. <laughs> now, then the other one was I met a nigga named Kim. K I M. I'm not. Hold on, so you tell you said it meant a black person named Kim? Like the first thing I think about when you said Kim and you said dude, I automatically assume like, that it was like an singer? Asian motherfucker no, person. His name was Kim. No offense, -I people. Yeah, I'm not a, yeah. a racist. Shout or out to it my Asian people. We're like, not being racist, but yeah. if anyone had the name Kim, eh, if we were Yeah, like <laughs> if I were a betting man, I'd say that's definitely more say of like a that dude was like Asian Cambodian name. or Kim Jong Un, some Asian, right? <laughs> uh, Kim Chi, right? Kim Chi, <laughs> Lil Kim. <laughs> I don't know, nigga. I'm just, I don't know. I don't know a lot of people named Kim. Wasn't that one of the little Power Rangers? Wasn't she a Kim? Wasn't she the, was a Kim. There was a Kim with you as a Power Ranger, right? You know what? I'm about to dig up in that because she was definitely fine. Was it the pink one or the purple one? But was she it was a pink purple one. ranger? No, it was a purple. It was definitely a pink ranger and yeah, a yellow it was ranger. A pink. The yellow was a dude, though. No, yellow was a girl. You talking about the original? Yeah. The original Power Rangers. <laughs> yo, I'm gonna be real. Like, I know my right, Power right. Rangers. So the yellow? Of, <laughs> yellow was definitely a Trini. That was her name. Trini? Trini. <laughs> she was a hella fine, bro. Back in the day, Trini? that was my girl, was bro. Was she Asian? She was definitely Asian. <laughs> A hundred percent. They color these people by definitely racist. The color. Yellow Ranger was definitely. <laughs> you shout out that. to Power Rangers. Y'all right. knew what I was doing back then, back then, in the day. Guess uh, what the Black Ranger name was? I don't even Jamal. remember the name. <laughs> <laughs> the Black Ranger was like Tyrone. He had probably two arrests. He <laughs> had at least one baby mama. Uh, let me see. What was, <laughs> the, what was the Black Ranger name? You got your phone. Uh, ask Siri. This bitch know everything. Uh, baby, uh, I don't know. I, I'm telling you, like, where's Rebecca when we need I, her? I know, right? Where's Rebecca when we need her? All right, her? listen. <laughs> Rebecca's off work today. She's taking the. She's. she's off I don't know work. why. I did not approve. Uh, this. She had, a, you know, I'm not sure what the fuck happened, but she definitely took whatever new COVID strand is out. Yeah. This is what she's got. All right, so she's chilling right now. But how many you know, COVID strands do we have? I think it was three already. No, so far. nigga. There's got to be at least five. There's 
Because we had the regular COVID, we yep. had the D version, right? And then Don't we know had what that the is. R virus or RVS, RSV. RV, yeah, RSV shit. Yep. Like, that's three. There's so some far. other shit, too. Well, it was even talking about the bird flu and the pig or swine flu and shit. That was all like the same kind of shit, right? I, look, we're talking about like 2019 type shit. Like, at this point, like, if we, if, like, what's the fuck is the point? I mean, we're going to die right now. We all got it. I'm just trying, I'm we just all trying not it. to. I'm I think to you're more it. likely to catch COVID than herpes. Or AIDS. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. In case y'all <laughs> wondering, folks, you heard it here. Max said y'all are more likely to catch goddamn COVID than you are herpes and AIDS. Right, this listen. isn't something you need to fact check. Just <laughs> roll with me on this one. Just, <laughs> just say yes. Listen, this is the fucking... <laughs> just, say, just say yes. This is, Mr. Li- this is Mr. Liver Podcast. Oh shit! Start with your boy yes. Flo and your boy Mac, it. the one and only, the Mac without the Roni. We up in here talking our shit, swallowing spit, doing what we do. Mm. I, don't, I don't even know about that shit. I just want to fucking chill. <laughs> we talk, nigga. We talk our shit, do we not? That's this true. is what the this That's is the true. point of our podcast. Is. So I heard something right now. You know the passport bros, right? Right. The nigga Andrew Tate said something. He said, "The best time in a man's life." Is when he's with his voice talking shit. He said it don't matter if you're in the Philippines with twenty five dollars in your bank account. That's for the best time. And I got to think about. It, I'm like, that's kind of true, because yeah. when you're with your boys talking shit, we talk shit. We that's just do. what the fuck it is. Yeah. It doesn't mean anything. That, that that's not even necessarily words we live by. It's just us talking shit, right. and we love it because right. it's a safe space for us to say what we want to fucking say. I was like, damn, I never thought about that. I thought he was going to say, like, oh, you know, cuddle up in the bed with the woman that you love. And I thought he was going to go with that. I really thought he, I, honestly, no cap. I thought he was going to say something like that because if he would have said that, I'd have been like, okay, I can kind of get that. Well. But he didn't. We all talk shit, even if it's not true. Even Sir, if we don't feel that way, we just say to talk how we shit, feel at that time. You feel what I'm saying? Because that's and what niggas know, do. You know, I don't understand how fucking... I'm trying to figure out why the fuck we only have that safe space around fucking dudes. What's the first tip? Like, when you talk to your homeboy, what's the first tip? I thought she was on vacation. Yeah. I thought Rebecca was on vacation. Yeah, she Rebecca, too. I thought your ass was on vacation. The hell is going on here? Folks. Folks, we're going <laughs> to. Rebecca's on vacation. I don't even know how she busted through the line. It's crazy. It's like a chirp. <laughs> Back in there, you had a church phone and somebody busted you online. You're like, who the fuck is this? And they're like, ah, oh, this. And then you talk oh, shit about their school. <laughs> their school is like 17,000 miles away. We talk shit, but fuck your school. You remember that shit with the church? Nigga, I wish I had a church still. I can't afford a church. Why? I'm broke. But you have a phone. I mean, I'm just so, saying, like. How could you not afford it? This is like the fucking new razor shit. Like, the fucking, like. Remember the razors when they came out? They were all thin and shit. Everybody's like, oh, look but at that. But that shit was fucking cool. I'm not gonna lie, it was cool. But I had the fat little fucking phone, the little Sim- Simons or whatever. That shit looked like <laughs> semen. You know? I everybody don't know. made that joke. Well, I don't know. Was semen. About semen. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know about that. He said Listen, Simons. I fuck around yeah. and got the goddamn shit. Uh, I know what you're talking about, though. Yeah. I fuck around Nigga, and got one of those bitches. The Nokia's. Well, those bitch. Listen, I got a Nokia one time. Did you get a clear right? case? I, got a, I, I was fucking pissed off. Did you do the clear case that would light up when somebody calls you? No, 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 like no. Asshole? I didn't get that, but I did have. You did? Rebecca, I'm sure you did. Who is calling? Listen, Folks. I definitely had the fucking shit where yeah. fucking, it was just clear. Hey, on. Why oh. Hello? Hey. Hello? Hey. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Well, let me know when you're on doing this my is, podcast. This, right this is very unprofessional. This is not unprofessional. This is, you know, my podcast, this is definitely okay. unprofessional right this now. Is not talking to the beat. And he has no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? So, uh, yeah, I'm in the middle of the podcast, and they see me talking to you, which is great. This is going to be great for content. I like it. <laughs> you did say that. Yep. You did say that. I had the sponge That's bottle. all I had real. The 100. You're just crazy. Like all right, bye. Really? So you were the girl that was at the football games, and you're like, girl, where you at? Call my phone. <laughs> and it lights up, and you hold your phone up like, I'm over here. Oh, girl, we see you in the bleachers. What the fuck? Are you, wait, did Listen. you have the whole case, or did you have the antenna? The okay, so not just the antenna. See, so she didn't have the antenna. 
You was about that life then. He was about that life. You would, so you deliberately wouldn't answer the phone just to see it light up. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. <laughs> Folks, so. shit only niggas do. <laughs> we will not answer your phone call if we you have know, a clear you know what I'm cell thinking? phone case that lights and, and, up just and, and to see it light up. Based off of that shit right now, you know what I want? I want to explain something to you, okay? Mm-hmm. I really feel like people that have iPhones are the biggest dicks in the world. 100%. I'm going to just be real. 100%. Right? Now, Android explain, gang gang up in here. Let me explain my answer of why yeah. I feel that way. Right? Go ahead. I feel like when you have an iPhone, mm-hmm. you make a decision whether or not you want to fucking talk to somebody or not. <laughs> right? True. Phones be ringing off the fucking hook. I know where you're going. I know where you're going. And these motherfuckers <laughs> will not answer the fucking phone for shit. I don't even understand how. They just, just they like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna let that bitch go straight to voice. Man, I don't know who the fuck. Like they really fucking do that shit. Like yeah. listen, in emergency situations, look, they they will be listen. They will be doing absolutely nothing. I literally, huh? See what I'm saying? They don't want this emergency. They they know when it's emergency. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like they literally. Right. All of them are assholes. I'm not gonna lie. All of you motherfuckers that have iPhones are assholes. assholes. Look, and on top of that, y'all niggas never charge our phones. Ever, ever, I nigga. Swear for God. I get a screenshot from my baby mama every other day, and I'm looking at a screenshot, and I always have a habit of just looking in the corner at her. It'd be like orange, and it's like 27. percent Right. What the fuck? Matter of fact, <laughs> how many times have you ever fucking go on Instagram and see the screenshots that somebody posted on that shit and they shit on a red bar 5%? Listen, I'm going to show you my, look at right now. Like, what the fuck? Look at right now, what does my shit say in the corner? What percent? 86%. Why? Because we smart, motherfucker. We run our shit to 86%. I I and if it gets really to 50, I'm getting nervous. Exactly. If it gets to 30, I'm shaking in my boots. Nigga, if it gets to 10%, do? I'm about to cry, nigga. So, listen. Ain't we'll no fucking to, way. But guess what? I swear, if you are not listen. All Android people have at least mm. our charger in that car. Bam. A car charger? Yes, it is. All the fucking time. And the if they don't console, have a car folks. charger and it's about to die, guess what? They'll put that shit on power safe mode and let that motherfucker be on co- power safe mode all day. Yeah, all that day. shit will last for three day. fucking days. Nigga, I can survive in the wilderness on power safe mode if I got to. Facts. Facts. Call me Bear Grills. I don't want to understand. What's the nigga's name? Grills? Some shit. What's the nigga? I think it's Grills. I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. But He's a you. white dude that be doing shit in the wild. Oh, I don't know. I think it's Bear but Grills. I'm going to just say that. That nigga. Because the other nigga killed himself. Anthony Bourdain, Bord, something. He killed himself. Oh. Rest in peace to him. I don't know why, though. You were like on TV. You had shit popping for you, but... I mean, you can't say the same shit because it, well, look at what, look at what's this dude? I can't remember his name. The dude that was fucking um a genie off of fucking Aladdin. Uh, Will Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Robin Williams. <laughs> Robin Williams, nigga. What the fuck is that? Will Smith. No, nigga. You, <laughs> sorry, I saw that nigga. My bad. I saw Will Smith, nigga. You said Aladdin. I thought of my nigga, Will Smith. I don't respect him slapping Chris Rock, but that's still that's Fresh Prince, bro. Like. <laughs> Am I lying? Was he not I, on Aladdin? Was he not? Oh, on Aladdin? he was. He was in the movie. Okay. And who I, was who? I, I, and who I, was who? I, he was the genie. I right, give you that. I give you that. Thank you. All right, my Thank bad. You. My bad. I, I give you that. Ten right, points cool, over here for Matt. <laughs> Ten points. Nigga, well, the original. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that was. So Robert yeah. Williams. Uh, what's the name? Robin Williams. Robin Williams. Rest in peace. Yep. Cause that dude was dope as shit. Rest in peace, Miss Doubtfire. Yep. That nigga was dope, but. He was obviously not happy he killed himself. You know what I'm saying? So that was fucking unfortunate. But True. With that being said, it was because it was that he was you know, I'm not gonna get into that. I'm not even gonna do that shit. Next topic. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> going on to the fucking shit I was talking to me, I was talking to you about the whole like um situation with the black YouTube and shit, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Like, it's definitely getting, like, extreme right now to the point where they're going against each other over a white woman. Right? I, <laughs> and over, I don't over understand a white it, woman. but okay. But see, 
Some people are fucking basically saying that fucking, and I feel the same way. This is my opinion. I don't feel like we should allow fucking white people to come into the space talking shit. Now I'm saying talking. Now I'm saying talking shit, but having opinions on what the black community needs. That's okay. I, okay. And, uh, I respect that. Yeah, yeah. I can't go into the white community telling them like, "Hey, you need to be doing this, this, that, and the other." Right. You white women need to do this, this, and that. I don't feel like I should do that because I can't relate to white men. Or white I know women. you guys' struggles are way different. I can't imagine the white man's struggle. Jeez, like, I don't know. Which company do I want to work for? Microsoft? Uh, like I, Exxon uh, Mobile? <laughs> fucking Twitter? I don't know. My options are readily available. Right like, now. that's the thing that you I don't You know, understand. these six figures that I'm going to fucking right. make. Jeez. So. What yacht do I want to buy? It's a tough decision. So, since you don't know, mm-hmm. I'll explain it to you. So you came into the black people's spaces trying to talk to women, black women about how their shit. I'm not gonna say she only talked to black women. She talked about Hispanic women, white women, and all but this other bullshit. But it's basically, yeah, exactly. Okay. So I didn't like it in the first place. You know what I'm saying? And she's but a white woman. She's a white woman. She's a white woman, and she's rich. Her family was rich. They had money. Okay. She's not white, poor. Rich, talking about the black community. Right. In okay. the UK. So she was in America, and then she went to the UK and tried to make money in the UK, which is. <clears throat> You know what I'm saying? So basically, she just... The plot thickens. Right. She just profited (laughs) based off black issues, Okay. basically. So that... And I'm not going to fucking talk shit because they were smart to fucking market that kind of shit because it's something that's popping right now. Everybody's talking about it. Okay, there's a big movement in the world. It's a big money move Especially the United States, okay. Yeah, so she make money off of it. I I hate doing the shit, but... The shit that she fucking basically did Mm -hmm. was... Basically, fucking, she, okay, here's the situation. She puts a fucking random dude online mm-hmm. on, her, on her podcast. The dude's racist and shit like that, which I'm not necessarily white, upset about wh- that. White dude or black dude? He's definitely, he's definitely white. But uh, I'm saying he was Irish and his, Irish and Mexican. Yeah, I know. It's a strange mix. Is that a mix? That's not even something that I feel like that's happens. like mixing tequila with like fucking Jaeger. Yeah, it's not. It's, not, it's, it's something that's not <laughs> necessarily you? supposed to happen. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah, not, like, like I would never, I would never fucking sit here. I would never think to fucking say, "Oh, I'm Irish and Mexican." That sounds like last call at the bar. Everybody else dipped out. The Irish dudes up at the fucking bar just chilling, fucked up. The little Latina's like, "Ah oh, man, nobody else is here." Oh, I see this fucking ginger over there. Fuck it, make it bigger. Make What's it. the worst that could happen? A Mexican, a fucking Irish motherfucking nigga. Right. <laughs> and we fast forward, folks. Matter of so, fact. <laughs> today. So she brought this dude on the podcast. Right. It's mm-hmm. not a big deal, right? Because mm-hmm. I'm not I'm not uh, against fucking people fucking saying that how they feel. I don't give For a fuck sure. even if it's a terrible thing. It could be bad. But That's I'm going to have, yeah, like he has his opinion. I have my own. You know what I'm saying? I guess I can say I'm biased to it because I'm fucking black. You know what I'm saying? I can definitely say some other shit to make it seem like it's not a thing, but whatever. It's fine. <laughs> so, yeah. he made fucking jokes about fucking black people being late. It's not that really big of a deal. Like, people make jokes about that shit all the time. It's true. You know what I'm saying? It's just true. So, just we, facts. We not even, I'm not even worried about Can't that. Can't argue personally. with facts. Personally, I'm not upset about it. You know what I'm saying? Is it facts? You know how many times I've been late? Nigga, I'm nah, late I mean, every let's, day. Let's, let's, Nigga, I was late over here. Nigga, <laughs> 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 I'm yeah, late. Right. The fuck? So, yeah. so <laughs> you want to be starting you know, what time? That okay. necessarily doesn't mean. Yeah, that, it's kind of like, sir, you yeah, know us too well. Right. How dare you? I mean, I mean, it, it really didn't affect me. I'm not gonna sit here and say that I was crying about it when he fucking said it. That's cool, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Did it make you more punctual afterwards? No, I'm not gonna lie. That's the worst thing. This comment didn't make you think. Uh, like, I, I, I'm like, you yeah, know, yeah. I was thinking, like, maybe I don't want to be the talking black guy. You know what I'm saying? For sure not. But see, that's the thing. I could be on time. I you think could. Been, I think we've been on time, like, for a while, for, like, the last, like, two weeks to, to kind of build up that fucking shit <laughs> because of the fact that, now, wait, you know wait. what I'm saying? Before you finish, when you say on time, do you mean <laughs> you're there in the first five people clocking in? Or are you guys at the back? I'm, I'm within the first... Five minutes, okay? Within a first, between one and five minutes, we're in that time frame. So you're but not mind the you, five people in line. <laughs> but see, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. We got a 10-minute fucking thing, right? It's a 10-minute grace period. 
So we're like one of five. All right. So I feel like that's a damn good damn start. Okay. We fucking do it pretty Listen. fucking well. All right. Listen, this is black logic. I don't know why, but if you give us a seven minute grace period to still be considered clocked in on time, we finna take all seven minutes of that shit. We just um, gonna do it. I'm not gonna lie. That's because why happening. do I want to give y'all more time than y'all actually deserve? You fucking said you it. You gave it to me. You can't say it the and fuck? then say I can't take advantage <laughs> of the situation if you tell me that's what it is. I'm just I'm just saying off top. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But okay, with that situation, mm-hmm. you're talking about being late. That's fine. Cool. Whatever. So the fucking shorty over here, she was Irish or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, or no, Irish. I'm sorry. I'm mean, gonna say it wrong. Italian. The dude was Italian and, and Mexican. Okay, the girl T- tomato, was, potato, yeah. same difference. So the girl was all Italian and she was dating a black dude, right? Okay. And she fucking and he basically said, "Oh well, well she said that you know they don't they don't like him because he's a fucking racist and they don't teach hate on the on the fucking Italian shit. They don't teach hate. They do teach love. You know, that's love is what it's all about. I don't so they'll accept about you, all right? That. Hold he's, on, wait a minute, wait a minute. I I, I know too, right? So this is what she said, right? And he says, oh, and they don't want to accept me? They don't accept me? Well, they don't accept you because you date a black person, right? Then she fucking says some bullshit like, you know, you, you talked to my fucking boyfriend before, and you ain't say shit in his face, blah, 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 mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Okay. I guess she's like, if, he if you would have said that to him, then he would have beat your ass up, da, 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 right? Now, the, the girl that they were talking about, the, the person they were the, the person they're talking about, mm-hmm. there's a host of the show they were complaining about her not saying anything about it to stop the fuck conversation or push back. Now, I am understanding of how a podcast works or an interview works. Right, 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 right. If there's a situation where controversy is in, you are the as person that's supposed to, yeah, as a host, right, right, is right. supposed to push back on situations. If it's like racism or fucking, you know, or something immoral, your ass, you supposed to fucking push back on that because you're pointing out what your morals are versus their morals. Now you're you're the only reason that and you're not trying to sit here and point out the fact that you're right about something. Your goal is to make sure that you get out of the other person why they think that their shit is right or you know their opinion or the, how they feel right. about okay. it. You, okay. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 so yeah. it's constructive criticism. Right, you're right, getting right. the fucking information from this right, person right. to figure out right. why they Help feel like it's right. Help me understand why you feel. So solid in what you're trying to say. Exactly. And, you know, I, I exactly. That. So she didn't do that. Okay. What she did was she sidelined the shit and she talked about racism in a situation, not just racism, sorry, she didn't say racism. What she said was that slavery wasn't the same as the Holocaust. Okay. So she tried to compare the two. Right. Right. Which me, honestly, my opinion. Mm-hmm. It's not the same. You have 300 years of oppression right, of black to... people and Irish people and all these different other cultures that right. was in the slavery gang. Right. right? You're right. That's, and I'm not going to. Yeah, it wasn't just black people. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't just black people. But it came to a point where fucking black people were the lowest of the, the lowest form of people. So right. therefore, they took the white people, the, the Italians, the uh, the fucking Asians, the fucking uh, everyone what, what, who was a, of a whoever was complexion. not black, correct? People that were non-black, they put them in a position of power to be able to control these people. So right. they put them in tiers, you know, saying these people for this, these people for this, these people for this. Right. So therefore, their time and punishment because they were going over there for crimes that they committed in these other countries. So they were sent to America for slaves to be a slave. That was their crime. They had to sit to America and be slave for five years, 10, 15 years, or whatever. Right. And then they would right, be, right, 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 be right. able to be free to go back to the country or whatever. That was their, that that was, was their punishment. Was like, yeah, right, right. Exactly. That was their term. Exactly. So she fucking said the Holocaust was different because they was getting killed and this and this, that, and the other. Well, who is responsible for that? Hitler. Yeah, the Germans. Which was their people. Exactly. So Americans had nothing to do with that. So why do I need to recognize... Oh, you know what? I'm not even going to say I'm not going to recognize it because it was, it's, mm. it's shitty to the whole That's situation. That's crazy. I never thought about that. Yeah, but... Because it's foreign land. Right. Why are we recognizing travesties 
committed on a foreign land. We're talking about American travesty, which is slavery. Exactly. I never thought about that. But see, the people that got reparations for all those situations with who? The Jews. Not that. They American. got they got reparations for those things. Right. The Japanese got reparations for situations too. We were those people that fucking got fucked up through the whole fucking situation. And guess what? We're still at the fucking bottom of the barrel. Mind blown, folks. Crazy. Mm-hmm. How, Facts. Who built the White House? Facts. Who built this country? Facts. Every time that we put fucking black people together to fucking create something, what happens? Mm. It gets stolen. It gets taken. You know, I just and no like, recognition. Yeah. The, the remember the fucking what's that? What's the fucking what's the fucking shit? I can't even remember. I feel like a piece of shit right now. The uh, is it June nineteenth? Was it Juneteenth? Juneteenth. Mm-hmm. Uh, what city was that? Tulsa. Air, what was Tulsa? Oklahoma. Uh, it, it could be. Okay. Well, I have, I've had way too much liquor in me to really, like, pinpoint. Yeah, we I, can probably, ask, I probably We're going to Google it. Fucking, yeah, I think it was Tulsa. So, anyways, so, there was a state mm-hmm. or a city in the fucking uh, in Oklahoma where fucking black people came together and they black built Wall their Street. own wealth. Yeah, Black Wall Street, right? Mm-hmm. And all because they said what? A guy had touched a black boy, a black man had touched a woman. They decided to Galveston do what? Galveston Bay, Texas is where. Galveston Bay, Texas. Okay, so that happened there, and one person, one man, they accused of what sexually harassing some woman. They decided to do what? Bomb, burn, destroy, kill the whole fucking city. The, yeah, they did. Right, they did. I also sad. heard another conversation that happened, that, uh, another uh, situation that happened where they actually did something similar to, the, to to that same situation where they actually burned and killed every person in the city, a black city that was pro- property, create, create money, create income, and their own city by themselves. And instead, hmm. they killed everybody, mm-hmm. burned the town down, mm-hmm. and tried to cover up with a lake. And the shit's still there today. The homes, houses, mm-hmm. all of the fucking things that they had Who is still this? on the bottom of the lake. I, I think it's a, uh, um, <sighs> shit. I should have got my fucking facts before I fucking start talking about this shit, right? It's all good. It hey, just happened. I, I just, I just know. I, I need, I'm going to look it up. As right? long as you feel like conviction in what you're saying, people will believe it. It's definitely and I'm not saying a it's true right, statement. It's definitely saying, a true like, statement. That's why politicians are good at what we do. I saw a video today and it, it didn't blow my mind, but I was just like, the dude was saying like some true shit. So he was... I don't know if he was a teacher or just a speaker. So we had two circles on like a fucking, like a goddamn, he was, he was in a presentation. He had two circles. One uh-huh. was blue, one was red. Same size. So he goes, he goes, hey, you see the two circles? They were like, everyone, everyone in the uh, audience was like, yeah. They were like, okay. And the guy was like, so if I told you that these two circles were not exactly the same, one of them is actually bigger than the other one, would you believe me? They didn't really say anything, but they just kind of stood quiet. He said, okay, those of you who believe that the blue circle is actually bigger than the red, raise your hand. People were like, okay. Those of you who believe the red circle is bigger than the blue, raise your hand. Everyone else was like, he was okay, cool. He said, the fact is, both of those circles are exactly the same. Exactly the same. He said, but because I made you question what you thought and what you knew was true, that's how easy it is to manipulate people. I was like, wow. Because, no cap, I'm not trying to sound all fucking super, you know, sophisticated over that. But when I saw the circles, my first thought was like, oh, they're the same. Right. Right. If I was there, I would, have, I would not raise my hand for anything. I'd be like, uh, they're the same, sir. But whatever. I see the point he made in that. And I was like, wow, that's so fucking true. If you look up and someone's like, oh, the sky is green. You're like, nigga, nah, that shit is blue. If enough motherfuckers say, nah, that shit is green. You're gonna second guess yourself, yeah, and be like, it could be a hue of green, you know, yeah, you know, yeah, that yeah, type of true. shit. And I'm just like, that's so crazy, so crazy, the power of manipulation, and, and it, that's what's happened to us for how many years? Forever. The power of manipulation, even the American dream. Oh, uh, I want a fucking house with a white picket fence and da 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 and a dog. That's not the American dream. The American dream, I personally feel, is whatever it is that truly brings you peace of mind. If you want to sit there and be a woodworker for the rest of your life and you retire and you decide you want to take your barn, convert it to a wood shop, and you're out there cutting trees down and you're working that wood and making tables and fucking drip, that is the American dream for you. Right. If you want to be some Uber 
oh, I want to be a fucking trillionaire. And you got this company, and you start that company, and blah, blah, blah. And next, you know, you're a trillionaire. That's the American dream for you. It's different, but for some reason, they paint this picture for all of us to think like, oh, the American dream is what? You know. What? The white picket fence? It's like, like yeah. nah. The nice some people house, are cool the, living like, in an apartment. Oh, some people cool. are that's actually okay too. living there. That's true, too. Because but then I also fucking think that the fucking American dream can be. They, they do have this picture, like you said. They have this picture of what it's supposed to be. Right. What it's supposed to look like. Right, right, you know right. what I'm saying? But in actuality, fucking coming to America, honestly, it's like you do get the benefits, but you do get the backdraws, too. This People don't. Off. But they don't, they don't necessarily off. explain to you what the trade-off is. You know what I'm saying? Right. You have crime all over the place, but you got crime everywhere. You know what I'm saying? But there's also the racism towards certain fucking aspects of people's real, uh, uh, religion and right. fucking racial background, well, all those different let, things. Let's think about the crime, though. Like, you said crime. Right. Crime in America is different than crime in other countries because other countries, Saudi Arabia, countries in the Middle East don't put up with the shit we put. There's no, like, real due process out there. You know what I mean? Like, there's... What the fuck is due process out there? <laughs> even even in Russia, like, like you you think Russian authorities, if they see you doing some crazy, sh- listen, I'm gonna what? tell you right now, due I've process. definitely seen, I've definitely seen other cultures when I was when I you know Iraq and all these different mm-hmm. places I've been to, definitely seen that these people don't play no fucking games at all. They will at us, all. us, we are privileged. I mean, in this situation, I'm gonna say. We're privileged here. We Listen, are. we got this. We are. We got different ways for us to get out of situations. Look, we got people with misinformation. Uh, we Shit need that's witnesses. Been misdelivered. Yeah, we need. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. misdelivered. You got fucking people that are witnesses that don't show up, or are lying, or yeah, or lie, or all these different things that just create fucking shit. And that right there can fucking either create a mistrial, or a. Uh, uh, yeah. um, yeah. What's, your, what's the other shit called? The uh, motion to fucking dismiss. dismiss or fucking push the trial back because of misinformation. The evidence that's being used between the fucking prosecutor and the fucking, uh, the, um, what's the other people called? Defendant. Defendant. Mm-hmm. The prosecutor will only fucking put information that, that will c- incriminate you, but they won't put anything now that could, like, you know, eradicate you from the situation. Oh, that's you know what I'm saying? And then that's the, a that's, defendant's that's, job. Yeah, that's a defendant's job. But the prosecutor is supposed to be able to put that shit to light. That's their job. Right. They can't just hold back information. You know what I'm saying? But Anything no. pertinent to the case? Correct. Exactly. Correct. But they, they won't do it. That's what I'm saying. Like, the situation, how Well, how they the make, like, works. backhand deals, too, which is crazy. Of course. You know, and I, I feel like, listen, I feel like calling bluffs and everything like that, it's like a gambling thing. You know what I'm saying? I, I for one, can be the fucking prosecutor and be like, I know this motherfucker guilty. Every, every, everything that fucking points to this motherfucker except for these two key points of evidence. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, and right. I would just be like, I'm convinced. This is the fucking dude. So I'm going to give this nigga a fucking deal mm-hmm. and be like, listen, I give you fucking five to ten. You know what I'm saying? I give you five to ten. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? But you got to fucking Yo, fill that point. Yeah, yeah. You behavior. know what I'm saying? And, and then you know, I'll be like, hey, you still see your kids, this and this right, and that right. and other, blah, blah, blah. It's not my burden to make sure this person. That's a that's a whole purpose of the prosecutor. The prosecutor is supposed to charge you, make sure you go to jail. That's what they. That's the whole purpose of the prosecutor. It's okay. not to. It's okay. not to fucking make sure that you're innocent. It's it's not to make sure any of those things. He wants to put you in jail. That's his job is to put you in jail. And I don't. This, I they don't. have to prove to the courts through a preponderance of evidence. That you are guilty of said crime. That's that's the way. But the thing is, it's like it's not it's not his job, or his job is to make sure that you're the person that's guilty. But it's his the, job the, the to burden, present the information, right? And the burden falls upon the, the jury. defendant. It, it, falls, it falls on the defendant. It falls on, on, on the fucking on the defendant. What do you call the, it? The, the defense. Right. right. Well, it, it falls on the defense and the defense attorney to prove a doubt. In a that reasonable, doubt. a reasonable doubt, reasonable to doubt, the jury and all that bullshit, which is—I uh, don't even know how we got here. 
I don't know either, but it's kind of cool though. You know what I'm it was just like got to this point. And it, I don't even know you how he saying? got here, but listen, that's how the shit. That's how the cookie crumbles. Yeah. Whatever so, that statement means. So okay. going back to this whole Miss Pearly things, right? Right, right, right. Oh, uh, no, girl. I don't have a fucking problem with her at all. I, I really don't have mm-hmm. a problem with her. But it, every time I fucking sit here and watch and I do a little bit more research and more research and research, I just figure out I, I, she's literally just pulling things from everybody else to fucking say the same thing. Literally, exact words. Like, exact words. Like, she's going to these people's cloud. And I'm not saying it's her. It's right. probably her team, somebody on the internet that's getting all this information, you know what I'm saying? And they just write it down for her. And she's probably just reading word for word of a piece of paper. Not the cue card. Yeah, I'm <laughs> telling you. Like, it's, it's definitely fucking, it has to be something close to that. You know what I'm saying? But she's really verbatim saying all the fucking shit. And it's, what's the word? It's called, um, is she gaslighting? Perjurism? Perjuring? Uh, not perjurism. What is it? It's plagiarism. 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 It's we exactly knew it was one of the people yeah. in school. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, she did give the due credit at the end of the shit when I found out. You know what I'm saying? But to me, I feel like if I'm pulling something from somebody else's shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say verbatim exactly what the fucking words are saying. But I'm just saying that to say that I don't believe that she should be in a space where she could just talk about black issues because she's not black and she never had to deal with black issues even if she's fucking black people i she still doesn't <laughs> understand the issues that we have to go through it's just not the same you yeah. know what i'm saying Struggle's so way different her situation is that she's in a lot of bullshit because of the fact that she allowed a racist dude on there to say what he had to say about the shit now me personally when i heard the shit he was talking shit he could be a racist probably but it seemed like he was just talking shit but the fact that she didn't say anything, the fact that she didn't push back on him, right, is the reason why people are so upset with her. And right. Then, so now it's like, mm, yeah, do you feel this way? Exactly. And now that that happened, bro, like doors are fucking opening on fucking the stupid shit that she's done in the past. Like, nigga, she's dead ass going through some stupid shit right now. Like. So other dude came up here fucking talking about how much she was fucking offering to pay this other dude to fucking be on the shit. But think about that, though. Is she really losing? Because now she's getting all this exposure. Right. But it's not from the black people now. Well, it don't matter. Exposure is exposure, though. Right. True. True. I I said not from black people, but I'm not going to say that because it's not true. The true statement is the funniest thing that that's actually happening now is the fact that there are black people that are fighting other black people about how she's appropriate and other people are defining that she's not appropriate. So some are siding with her and some aren't. Right. But instead, uh, but it, here's the thing, but instead of having this conversation with her, they're fighting each other, cutting each other down. The black mm. YouTube fucking shit is just in a situation where, you know, one person's on her side, the people on her side. And instead of trying to go to her to figure out, you know, the situation and try to work those things out, mm-hmm. they're going against each other. They're the, the the relationship that they had, the conversation they had, all the podcasts or all the fucking YouTube videos that they had before, is like now they're cutting ties with each other. <laughs> so the funniest thing is so like, she's burning bridges within the community, but exactly. Yeah, but she's gaining. Like how you said. What she did was divide and conquer the whole fucking shit because now she just split people right. down the middle. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. You got people on the right hand side that's fucking against all the fucking racist shit that right, fucking right, happened, right. and they feel like she shouldn't have fucking she should have said something, even if she's gonna speak on black issues. I'm I'm saying that I don't feel like she should, but other people people right. don't feel the same. Some people that feel, I feel like she has a platform. That's fine. Whatever. Let her do it. That's fine. If people fucking say it's very fine, she could do what she had to do, right? But the people that don't like the situation, they're mad about this and they feel like that she should have said something, but she didn't say anything. The other people are fighting these people. So instead of her taking the fall and dealing with all this bullshit, these motherfuckers are fighting each other. Now, the the, the, the scale of how black YouTube was was, at all, was coming up to an all-time high. Mm-hmm. And now that they're cutting each other down because they were actually working together to build networks and create money for the Black Entertainment Center. Mm-hmm. And now that money is cut in half. Her name is all over the fucking place right now. All over the hey, place. 
Bro, listen, listen. People are fucking mentioning her name in every fucking situ- situation. The only reason why I mention this shit because it's like, why why are we fighting over a white girl? And it's That's, not. It, it's it's the point why, that she. Why, why do we go to war? You know, we. It's the never ending fucking cycle of like us doing shit we shouldn't be doing. That's absolutely true. I could never. Based on what? I would never, as far as like my kids are concerned, if they want to enlist, great. Great. I'm never going to force feed them the idea that, yeah, you're doing something worthy for your country. Right. Because I know America. I know how fucked up we are. We are like Debo in Friday. The rest of the world is a Craig and Smokey. It, like, we're Devo. We are fucking, we run shit. Regardless of what the fuck is happening right now, you know, oh, America's not a powerhouse anymore. Doesn't fucking matter. No one's fucking with us. Because we are Devo. Huh. China, we're not going to pay y'all. We're going to borrow, borrow, borrow. Oh, I'll pay you tomorrow type shit. We're not going to do it. You know what I mean? Like, hey, you're the first. Right, I got you, nigga. Oh, come on, nigga. Go ahead uh, no. and me this. First time I get a chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, ahead, go ahead and fuck <laughs> me this. I got you. That's America. That's Big Brother America. Yeah. That's why Canada's safe, Mexico safe, because we are right here. If they bomb either of these two motherfuckers, it's way too close to us. Yeah. We fucking some shit up. And and uh, this this whole fucking situation, like even getting to the point where the fucking Russian fucking authorities and how things are going over there, and then China fucking. Working around and fucking having this attachment and this fucking loyalty to Russia and shit. Right. I'm, I'm actually dollar. really considering like what the fuck is going to be the next step. You know what I'm saying? And it's getting scary. Now I listen to the fucking I, I listen to like the historical events of everything that happened with Putin and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? And I definitely could tell that he's definitely a manipulator, right? He's he, he's definitely a manipulator. But the presidents that we had in the past absolutely did nothing to stop the situation that he'd done. Apparently, there's some information I had no idea that actually happened. The the fucking situation with the country of Georgia, where they bombed that city and everything like that, because they felt like that's what I'm saying. (laughs) They fucking did that shit. They got fucked up, assuming that America wouldn't do anything about it, and they and we didn't do anything about it. President Clinton, George Bush. Like, and, and, and even Obama fucking didn't do shit about the things that he was doing and shit. Didn't do a fucking thing. The only person that did something was fucking Biden. You know what I'm saying? And the funny thing is, even when Biden was in the fucking shit with fucking uh, Obama, you know what I'm saying, the situation, he was the only person that was fucking standing against the shit. Obama didn't think that that fucking situation was uh, 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 something that he needed to fucking worry about. He needed to worry about the American people, so he just let that shit fly. All the fucking shit that happened in between time, like, he did this shit for years, like, 10, fucking 15, 20 years. Fucking doing shit, stupid shit, bombing people, fucking up people's countries, and all this bullshit. And <laughs> well, the only no, time no, that no, I'm telling here. you, that's what I'm saying, not, not here, of course. We would never do countries, that. But I'm well, saying, no, I'm not talking about fucking Obama, or you know I'm saying, no, I, I our country. I, I know. But, you know, this nigga Putin have been doing all kind of shit, and ain't nobody did a fucking thing. They just let this nigga do, like, a fuck. It, you know what yes, he reminds sir. me of? He reminds me of a child. Because children do things, right? Like how old are we talking about? I'm talking about like maybe like a seven year old. You get a seven year old kid around that time frame okay. where that you know They're old enough to know. They're old enough to know. But they're still innocent but, enough to like be like But oh. they'll try things. They'll do stupid shit, like pee all over the seat and won't clean the shit. Or Mm-mm-mm. leave their toys all over the kitchen and shit. And they know that their mom or dad's not gonna say anything. Or if I go into the kitchen and put their hands in the cake before fucking, you know, their birthday and shit, and then know their parents are gonna be like, Instant Charlie, why you do that? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's exactly how he was acting. He was acting the same, the exact same way. Even with, matter of fact, even with, what's his name? Um, Donald Trump, he did the same shit. Now, speaking of politics, segue. Uh-huh. Bitches. Right. I like, I like this conversation. <laughs> oh, <laughs> give me one second. <laughs> yeah, no. I like yeah. this conversation. I love I bitches. Just, okay. I do too. Politics is cool. But <laughs> I need something a little more 
our speed. Okay. You can do that. Bitches. All right. Gotta love them. Right. There's a valuable need for them, especially nowadays. Oh, my God. Bitches. Awesome. Wherever you're at, hood rats, stop. Where, whatever you want to call yourself, please bring yourself to the forefront because we are fighting a war nowadays. Yep. And it's crazy to see how America is just willfully letting motherfucking people be whatever the fuck they want to be. No. No. Prostitutes? I'm not going to front. I feel like they serve a valuable service yeah. in just the fabric of America. Okay, I understand this. There I are definitely how many fucking men are out here that are socially awkward or they can't fucking the you know small areas or something like that that can't please a normal person, you know what I'm saying? Like they fulfill a need in the space of people of men that can't be in the same realm as normal women. Yeah, and it's 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 very sad because we normal guys, right? You know, we just go about life every day, just doing our best. And then there's the suckers out there, and these suckers just put a bad stain on just men as a whole. I think that's uh, absolute. Uh, it's, travesty. it's it's fucked up. I, it's I, fucked up. As a real nigga, I just want to say, all you hoes, sluts, thoughts, ratchet ass bitches, hood rats, skanks, scallywags, whatever you guys want to be, can, I don't give a fuck. You play your position. You guys are a positional player. You're key to the success of America. If this was a basketball team, you guys are probably like the point guard. Or maybe, you know, maybe small. I, you guys are part of the team. I Play your role. I definitely have a mixed feeling with that. And the reason why I do is because I don't respect the simps out there in this world. <laughs> I definitely don't. <laughs> you know, and, 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 and the reason why I say that is because, like, okay, for example, the OnlyFans thing, right? Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that that's... <laughs> See, I don't like the OnlyFans thing. And I'm not going to say that I never subscribed to the OnlyFans thing. But I definitely went for the free course. You feel what I'm saying? I, I just, but, I just but now they didn't change it to the fucking... You had to put your credit card in there. I don't feel really comfortable with that. So I'm saying that you're saying it's free. But you have to add your credit card or anything now that you have to. But I'm not doing that anymore. You know what I'm saying? It was nice to see some acetates for free. But you know what? This is the thing that I fucking don't understand. If, in fact... That, excuse me, there are definitely fucking women out there that are extremely sexy, nice bodies, nice breasts, nice ass, flat stomachs, pretty face, long hair, maybe even a wig. Okay. <laughs> These qualities are in a lot of women. Okay. I'm not going to sure. say that it's not, but why would you spend money on a person when you can go on Pornhub for free? You have X videos. You have I don't even know how many other websites. I think I saw a Red Tube. I, I, I mean, you don't think you know? <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> there, not there, there, there are definitely there's X and other X, X. Honestly, X Hamster. Well, I'm just, oh yeah, I forgot about X, X Hamster. Like anything okay. that starts with the letter X probably has a site. Right, but here's the thing, though. You don't really have to fucking like know any of them. You can literally go oh, to no, Google sure. and just push porn and. Boom. Yeah. There are definitely websites that are dedicated to this fucking shit. And it's also for free. You know what the fucking crazy thing that I, I listen. Furries. Let's let's oh, what the fuck? Yeah, I don't even understand that shit. But but I just want to let you know. Listen, I'm not I have nothing against y'all people that like that kind of shit. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And let me first say that. Although I say that I don't respect the simps in this world, I don't. <laughs> what about the furries? I cannot <laughs> sit here and say that I don't respect the bitches on Instagram or on OnlyFans or it's all these. Like, listen, the furries, listen, so. shorty, listen, listen, shorty. <laughs> Get your motherfucking money. That's if right. these, listen, yeah, I, I, this is what I'm gonna suggest. My, my suggestion is this. Hustle? My suggestion is this. If you're pretty, even if you're ugly, okay, put your, put your cash app on your Instagram 
or on your Facebook. Mm. There's always going to be some simp ass nigga throwing money at you. Do you know how much money except these motherfuckers make? Now, I know. I'm, I'm, I got to do an exception to that. Except my daughter. Because I will fucking kill you. But I'm not going to tell you about nothing. I will murder shit. you. Listen. <laughs> I'm saying Listen. it right now. This is the confessional tape. If ever my daughter is murdered behind some shit and they want to know the killer was, let it be some bullshit like that. Oh I'm going to be, y'all got to play this tape. I don't, I, don't, I don't even want to have this conversation. It's a wrap. Okay. But everybody else, though, hey, do you, boo, get your bread however you get your bread. I'll I kind of like it. I'm with you. I'm with I, I appreciate you. You know what it is? You do anything I appreciate to my daughter, the fact that women. to my daughter, mm. it's going to be a problem. I appreciate the fact that women nowadays are willing to accept that they're willing to just be out here using their body as an object and getting paid for it. Fuck it. Cool. Right. But at the same time, do you really think that you're going to get some real self-respect? And I'm only but saying that. We're not looking that, for self Well, I'm saying this is. When you go to a strip club, are you looking for that girl who's just like, oh my goodness, I came from a. Good of home. course not. But at the same time, it's not publicly known. Only people that's going to know that you're a fucking strip club or you work at a strip club is the people that go to the strip club yeah, or the people that you tell. True. You know what I'm saying? You can literally go from uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania to Florida. And nobody's going to fucking know who you are. You're right. You know what I'm saying? You're right. Even if you are on, on Instagram and you're twerking and shit, that's that's fine too. But at the same time, there are some... There, listen, I, I just, just want to be probably, right. Speaking of that, Instagram, right? Okay. You know me. I'm not big social media guy, right? So whenever I'm bored at the crib, I'll just scroll through Instagram. You know, somebody send me a reel, I'll watch it, laugh, haha. Right. I'll be scrolling through, you know, the algorithm, they kind of know what you want to see. Right. right? I don't know how I feel about the videos of the girls that just like, oh, it's real. And they jump up and down and claps. You, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Now, but... I'm not knocking them. I'm not knocking them at all. I just don't know if like, whenever I see it, I'm just like, oh, that's cool. Like, it doesn't make it's me, not... it doesn't move me. I think and I feel like it's is... supposed to, but it doesn't for I me. I think it's more for like a younger audience now. Because I think that me and you are desensitized to the situation now. That we Could fucking, because we've lived in a fucking time frame with a, a fucking BET late night. We seen Uncut. ass clap Uncut, at three yeah. o'clock in the morning. We seen that shit. I've seen Snoop Dogg doggy style. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm, and I'm, I'm not talking about the album, folks. Yeah, and it, how many fucking what the mm, fuck? Yeah. Anyway, you so, remember that? Do you remember <laughs> that? Yo, how you rapping still? I don't know why you rapping still. I wouldn't be. Yes. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. This you took remember, a turn for the worst. You remember that shit? I never seen that shit. You should see it. What happened? Snoop Dogg Doggy Style? Oh, it was a like a video. And he had like, it was like a porn. But he was there rapping. Uh-huh. While niggas is fucking on chairs and shit. He just rapping. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to check this out after the yeah, fucking yeah, shit. Yeah, Listen, I'm going right. to tell I'm show you. Cut I'm about to, to look through this shit. Hell yeah. I'm like, yeah, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, Snoop, yeah, that. What is it called? That's what Snoop Dogg Doggy Style. I'm dead ass. I'm dead ass. Don't fuck watch this. Yeah, he. It was great. Listen, and that's I, when and I thought was Tip Drill was the best one. Oh my god! Tip Drill was. You ever see Ludacris's pussy popping? Oh, that was bomb too. Sir? What was the other Chop Style was one too? Listen. <laughs> for another. Uh, uh, hold on, guys. hold on. What's the other song? I can't one. remember that song. Um, take your panties off. Take your panties on, panties on the dance floor. There's so many. Listen, yeah, I remember that shit. That shit was listen. That's the golden era. You understand? That we, was like soft core porn. Listen, I dead ass will wake up in the middle of the night to watch that shit every fucking night. Okay, the, faithfully. And, I, I, and every and every time the last song was tip drill. I remember the Snow Channel where it's that that snow. And then every now and then you look hard, you're like, oh, I can see some. You could hear the audio of a porn, but you couldn't really see it because it would just be. Oh like, yeah, that's right. Y'all kiss yeah, Snow know. Channel. You and you're like, never hold know. on, I think I see. Oh, I saw a nipple for like a half a second. <laughs> Great. <laughs> That's off course shit on fucking Cinemax. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Listen, yeah. anyway. And then you're like, you know what? What's this Playboy about? Oh, okay. You know, she's got a big ass bush, but it's still a Gucci. Yeah, she know, looks man. great in her fucking, you know, whatever outfit she's wearing, her little fucking Cleopatra outfit. I definitely can't say that I'm not appreciative of those things. But. Playboy, hustler, yeah, king. The point I, the point I was trying to say, oh yeah, was the fact that 
even though you definitely fucking do. Shout out to you, because I love those titties and ass cheeks, okay? I'm not going to lie. God, you created something special there. The problem is with that is that you like most of those females that fucking do all these things have issues with relationships afterwards. I'm just saying, like, you really think that a person, a man, should fucking date you after you fuck like 50 people in a week or in a month? <laughs> Damn, a you week. know what I'm saying? Like, on video too, for everybody to see. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I just want you listen, listen. I just want to yeah. be. Right. I just want to so be. You right say too. you couldn't date a, a porn star? I definitely. I don't think I could. Okay. What if? Who's your favorite woman in the whole world? Don't answer that because I already know. <laughs> There's, there's a lot of them. There's, 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 there's only your, a few. Who's uh, your favorite Roxy woman? Roxy Reynolds. From, fine as fuck. Wait, from, from, uh, from BET? Uh, that Roxy? Oh, are you talking about porn star? Oh, whoa. I'm talking about porn star. Oh, sorry. I didn't even go that Oh, way. I, I thought that's what you were talking about. Uh, uh, okay. Roxy Reynolds. I don't she's, know who that is. I've got she's to, fucking, I feel like I need to see who she is. She's fucking fine. Roxy, uh, R-O-X-Y? Yeah, Roxy. Yeah, it's Roxy Reynolds. She's bad as hell. Spanish? Um, no, she's black, actually. Roxy I'm not gonna lie, I have a I have a thing with black women. I'm not gonna front. Like black women is a shit. You know oh, what I'm saying? Definitely. Uh let me see. Uh, yeah. I me see that that's her. Yeah. Oh, she is hella bad. Hella bad. Uh, okay. I mean, yeah, she's cool. She's nice. What about Ebony Banks? That's a nice one. Yeah, that's a good that's, that's a good, a nice one. That's Ebony good Banks is no, good. what about Tiana Trump? Tiana Trump, I I really haven't seen too many about Tiana Trump. Um, See, I, I me, do think that I she has nice something. titties, right? She has the big titties, right? She's yeah. very well proportionate. Yeah. Um, I think that I only have like two people that I think are my favorites. Oh, hold on. That other girl, I can't remember her name. Um, I can't remember her name. But she was definitely bad too. I can't remember her name. Hey, but shout out to you, whoever your name I, is. I definitely feel like there's three of them. They're my top three. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Roxy Reynolds can do no wrong. Uh, Ebony Banks is super bad. <laughs> Unfortunately, she chose to be with a white man. Um, but maybe that was more her speed. And I'm not, I'm not saying anything against her because she's fucking bad. You know what I'm saying? But um, the point is that what I'm trying to make is that. Females that fucking in, in, engage in those kind of relationships or, or, or in that in that sexual industry mm-hmm. normally can't be We're gonna in call a it relationship. Entertainment, well, entertainment. entertainment. Yeah, entertainment. That's, that's a better word. We gotta for give it. them respect. Right, you're true. Because it's only for entertainment. That's true. So what if they're hoes and sluts? Right. You know what I'm saying? Come dumpsters. I'm not looking at you like that. I am. I think you're beautiful. If I people, beautiful Ice women. Fox, if you were to come up to me, I'm gonna look at you in the face and be like, oh yeah, you're definitely a cum dumpster. She kind of like that. Which I would like to deposit some trash into. You know, and this is the thing. I don't even know if they want to be treated with respect or anything. Because it's kind of misleading. You can treat them like shit on the fucking camera and stuff. And I know, I know they could be acting and stuff. But that could be like, you know, they probably like right. that kind of shit so too I at the same time. So I can take my whole ass shoe and put it on your face while I'm fucking you doggy style. I but then you want me to take it to a, a fucking four-star restaurant open your door? I don't want to do that. <laughs> I mean, how can you do both? <laughs> Are we shooting the porn in the point, restaurant? I, I don't even understand how you can do both. But people do it. There's a dude like uh, K- Kara Patrick, whatever her name was. Uh-huh. Her husband, like he was a porn star too, but she, they were married. Okay. And he would watch his wife get thrashed, and I'm just like, so what? after that, like, how do you go home and be like, damn, can you make? Like, I just don't understand how you can get into that, even though but you were beating cakes in a few hours before. How do you? There's definitely people that are watchers. Okay, let me I tell you this. I had, a, before, sir? I had a person. Well, I never had a person. But I know a person that was one of those people, right? And what, what, I, I'm not going to say names, of course. But mm-hmm. I know a woman that had a fiancé that happened to be bisexual. Mm-hmm. And they went out to go find a, a boy or a dude. Mm-hmm. I don't say a boy. But they went to they went to a bar, found a guy, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, and then they, you know, brought him back to the hotel, and she fucked that guy from the bar, and the guy, her fiance, was in a chair just watching her get thrashed, right, 
At the same time, the thing that was turning him on about the shit wasn't the fact that this dude was fucking his wife or a fiance. Mm -hmm. It was the fact that this dude was fucking his fiance and he was throwing insults to the dude, talking like, you got little dick, you ugly motherfucker, she don't want you, you see how I'm killing your girl pussy, and this and this and that and the other. <laughs> he liked the fact that he was degrading him while he was fucking his fiance. You feel what I'm saying? This is the strangest shit. Now, now I don't understand why she told me this. I have no clue. Okay. <laughs> but in my mind, I'm thinking to myself, this is the most disrespectful shit. But people love strange shit like that. And you know what's even funnier than that? She was mad about she was she was okay with that situation. They mm -hmm. went out like a couple of days later, did the same thing, grabbed a dude from the fucking right. bar or whatever. But then she got mad because she wasn't involved in the sex. So they came back to the crib. Right. Yep. Time out. Yep. We're, we're throwing a flag on the flag, coach. Yep. That's exactly. It. Yeah, he came in <laughs> with it. she came in the fucking room with her fiance and the dude they picked up in the bar was thrashing. Her fiance, and she just sat there and watched on the couch while her husband, her fiance, was getting dug up in. And she told me that this nigga was fucking the shit out of her husband or her fiance. <laughs> now, the way she said it was like the most inappropriate way possible. Okay, just imagine like this nigga was getting <laughs> in the fuck. I don't know, man. Like he, she made it seem like he was like going beast. And then she was mad because she felt like that shit that energy that that fucking other dude gave him, she didn't get from him. She was mad because he, he didn't he didn't show no interest in her at all. But this is the relationship that she wanted to be in. So I'm saying that people have different shit going on. This fucking definitely strange. I just don't understand. Why the fuck? But, you know, people are strange. I, I mean... Yep. <laughs> I mean, what comment can you say about that? <laughs> what comment can you say about that? I don't even understand. Like, what What can you say? I'm not even sure. And, 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 and then on top of that, like, <laughs> I literally had thoughts of actually probably doing something with this person, but after I knew she was getting doo-doo dick, I'm like, I can't do it, bro. I can't do it. Bro. What was the conversation like the next day with her and the dude? They're like having breakfast in the morning. Oh, she and was shit. mad. She's like, she she's like scrambling out. eggs and shit, making pancakes. And uh, you know, she's like, "Oh, babe, I'm making some breakfast. You want some sausage?" And he's like, "Uh, no. You don't like sausage. Mm, that's not the fuck I saw." <laughs> like, 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 I bet she was hella bad because <laughs> like, she ain't getting no nigga, dick that like that. How night. does that go? Listen. I'm gonna tell you, listen, there's, there's, there's things, listen, men out there, okay? There's certain things that you, you should do. You can't come back from that. You can't, okay? Listen, you can't. I'm not saying that you can't fuck a person that got doo doo dick, okay? I'm not saying that. But once you get the, the doo doo dick out of the pussy and shit, it's, it's hard to come back from that, okay? So, so now that you're fucking in this situation, how many more times are you gonna be put in that? How category of things. How vulnerable of a position are you in as a man to be the one getting, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, as a man, like, had, okay, he was getting ran through by the dude. How vulnerable of a, is he in? I don't even think there's another vulnerable situation. I think the, I think the closest Because the one doing thing, it is just like, look, this is what you'd like. Not that it's right, but this is just like, this is what the, he's not the one getting it. Right. So the one that is actually, get, that, to me, that is the most vulnerable position ever as a man. I think the closest thing to that situation is getting robbed in your home while you're taking a shit. Because oh, we all know you when you're taking shit. a shit, you can't do anything. <laughs> you can't just click, click, oh, 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 and try to fight. Because yeah. you, because, because oh, even if yeah. you stop the fucking person, nah, you shit yourself. Yeah. <laughs> it's hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you can't, you can't like cut like uh, uh, yeah, and then yeah, try yeah. to fucking fight off the defendant. You're, you're, you're the that I thought was the most vulnerable state a man can ever be in. No. But at this point now, yeah, that's probably the worst. It's craziest shit ever. She told me that she was uh 
fucking with this dude. They were boyfriend and girlfriend. And I never get this story because I've died when she said it. She said that she had a boyfriend. And one day, it was her, the boyfriend, and like one of his friends. All right. They were playing Monopoly. Right? Playing Monopoly. We all know how Monopoly is. All right. This shit can get pretty serious, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't know what interaction happened, but like the dude, her boyfriend had said something to her in like the heat of the moment about playing a game. I guess he maybe, oh, you're cheating, whatever the fuck it is, right? <laughs> she said the most reckless shit I could ever think somebody would say to their boyfriend in front of another nigga, right? What the <laughs> this fuck? Is what she said. She said, oh, yeah, because they were getting into it. She said, oh, yeah. Well, that's why you like niggas from Booty Call. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> she said, <laughs> nigga, listen. She said, that's why you. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I looked at her. I said, and you're alive I'm still? A, I'm going to fucking let you guys know, okay? Don't ever, ever, ever let a bitch ever call your ass on booty. You know, nigga, we don't have booties. You understand? We got butts, nigga. Okay? We got butts. We ain't got ass. We ain't listen, got booties, nigga. Listen, we got butts. Listen, and if a bitch sat here and said, just I put my fingers in your booty, okay? That's hella feminine, okay? You're dead ass a bitch, okay? Don't ever accept that. You are a bitch to her. You understand? You're like, what? What the fuck? So she just fucking dead ass fucking sat here and said, "Oh well, that's why I put fingers in your booty over we fucking." What the fuck? Oh my god, Jesus! Nigga, it was in front of another nigga at that, and it was, and it was his friend. <laughs> that's what made it worse. It was in front of another nigga, oh, no, which was his friend. Imagine that nigga afterwards, like, hey, bro, you can't what? talk shit. You cannot talk shit to that nigga. What did he like, oh, say? Yeah. What did he say? Yo, she said this nigga was throwing shit at her. <laughs> that was like, she was like, I've never seen him so mad. I said, do you realize what you did? She was like, no. I said, you, you, have, emas- I said, you have emasculated this nigga in front of his boy. Oh my God. It's different if it was y'all two talking shit to each other. It's, that's different. Nigga, you said some sacred shit. In front of his boy, that this is the, can never look at him the that, same. That right nigga. there, what you just said, is the perfect word. I fucking sacred. died. That's sacred. I died, nigga. I said, "How are you alive still?" Because you should have been dead. Like he can't toy that off, nigga. You can't front that. I'm like, no, nah, nigga. She just playing, <laughs> nigga. Because the way she said it, it was during a, a heated moment, nigga. Like so, you know there's facts involved, right? You Listen. know, the, nigga. She oh said that's why you like fingers oh. in your booty hole. My God. Ah, nigga, I almost peed on myself. Like, I said, wow. Nigga, we got to fight. Ooh, who's fingers? Nigga, That's we got to fight. Nigga, we got to fight. Oh, my fucking it, it's God. Not, yeah, nigga, we got to fight behind that. We got to fight. Like, how, nigga? I, I, I've never heard no crazy shit in my life like that. I said, you told your boyfriend? who He was your boyfriend at the time. In front yeah, because they ain't together now, right? Oh, no. <laughs> that, nigga. That, that had to been over at this point. What the fuck? What do you say to that? There's, what is your defense as a man? See, see, that, see. Oh, we, I was drunk? I'm going to just say this, okay? There is none. There is none. Fellas. There is none. Fellas. I thought you said stop. No, I didn't. Oh. So, fellas, I'm going to let you know. If you're in this unfortunate situation where you like fingers in your Consult booty. Consult the counselor. Okay. You like fingers in your butt. Okay. Because you don't have booties. We have butts. All right. Okay. You you better fucking do the situation with a person that you feel like is going to be long term. Okay. Nigga. I, I would never suggest you do this shit with Ever. a prostitute, Ever. a sideline person, Ever. or a person that you just want to smash. If you like things in your butt, you do those things on your own time. You know what she told me? It was even crazier. What's that? So she's all a five foot three, four, right? Her Hold dude on, was about like six foot 
I mean, since what, 16? So hold on, what is what I'm saying? That was fucking. So, okay, I'm just imagining this whole right, thing. Right, if right. they're, if they're, if Listen, I'm only assuming, I'm, I, I I'm know, only assuming ahead, that <laughs> he's on top while this is happening. No. But her <laughs> arms aren't long enough no. to fucking reach back there, right? Because she's like 5'3, what? Right? So her arms don't reach that far. So that means that he's not even in the pussy with it. So that means he's on all Yo, fours. The position is all wrong. Nope. He's laying on his stomach? Nope. Yo, what the fuck was he doing? I don't know. <laughs> no, no. Going, don't leave me suspend. Hold on. Oh, 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 no. What? She was sucking his dick. Nope. That was the closest what, thing. What, what position do you think he's in? He definitely gotta be. Think of the most vulnerable position you would be in. Don't tell me it was like like a hit in the front of back situation. <laughs> no, no, not that. Think about it as a man. Think about oh, it. Oh, he's doing like back over his head. My nigga's on his back with the leg. <laughs> Tell you, let me tell you this. I, I heard a story. I'm not gonna tell you from whom, okay? But I know this woman. And can we? Pa- I need to bad. Can we pause? Oh, let me let me pause this. Yeah, Nigga. Me, listen, 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 listen. This Quick is break. this is the Mr. Deliver podcast. Mr. Deliver. Your boy Flo and your boy Mac. The one and only. I right, listen. Subscribe to the channel. We got more fucking shit coming. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna be more prepared. More fucking shit. More shit every day, It ain't day, even about bro. preparation, y'all. We come straight off the dome. Y'all hit us with a question. We're going to answer the shit. Facts. We come with shit that we think of, shit that we read. Shit. We just spit it like we motherfucking spit it. That's, That's what it is. That's, That's just it. it. We got no rehearsal. Cover, you know One take. <laughs> One take, nigga. 